I'm Matthew from Ibanez, and today we're going to talk about the Edge Zero Tremolo. The Edge Zero Tremolo is an original Ibanez design that has a lot of really great features that we're going to talk about later on today. The first thing you need to know about any tremolo system before you even get started is that it's mostly string tension versus spring tension. Once you have that perfect, it's all perfectly balanced, this is known as zero point. One of the greatest features on the Edge Zero Tremolo are its stud bolts. They're locking stud bolts, and that means there's a smaller bolt within the stud bolts that actually lock down into the guitar body, causing better stability of the entire system. In order to adjust these and lock them down, you take a 2 millimeter Allen wrench, which is located in your Prestige tool, and you adjust them just like this. To get a better look at that, we have one that's outside of it. As you can see, there's a smaller bolt within the actual stud bolt. And it's adjusted just like that. When setting up your tremolo, you want to make sure that all your saddles are locked down. This will help with tuning stability as well as intonation. You adjust those with a 2 millimeter Allen wrench like so. The saddle lock screw is a little offset from the string so you don't have to worry about pulling them over or anything like that. And each one should be secured down as best you can without forcing anything. In regards to intonation, the Edge Zero Tremolo has a nice little feature here of an onboard intonation adjust bolt. You just unscrew it, and once you have this unscrewed, in order to adjust your intonation, you actually don't have to detune your guitar at all. In the back here, you screw it in until it touches. And then you go back to your saddle lock screw, and you just loosen that up. And now you'll be able to move the saddle back or forth in order to adjust intonation. Another thing to remember when you're setting up your tremolo is how to make sure that you could get your strings are locked in and aren't going anywhere. You do this by adjusting the string stopper screw, which is located right here, and adjusted with a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. Another great feature about the Edge Zero Tremolo is its snap-in tremolo arm. As you can see, the tremolo arm simply snaps in and back out because of this small groove at the base of the arm. Best thing about this is once it's locked in, you're pretty much going nowhere. In order to adjust torque, you either screw down or unscrew this nut here. Another thing you want to remember when you're setting up your tremolo is your fine tuners, which are located here, should be set at about midpoint. Because once all your strings and everything are locked down and you're just about in tune, you're never really sure whether you're going to need to go a little higher or a little lower. And this is done like so. My favorite thing about the Edge Zero Tremolo is the spring adjustment knob located on the back of the guitar. The greatest thing about the spring adjustment knob is it allows you to adjust your spring tension with just a simple turn. If you need more, you turn it this way. And if you need less, you go this way. And this will help you get to zero point when balancing your tremolo. Now that we've talked about the zero point system, let's take a look at that. In order to do so, you have to take off the cavity plate located on the back of the guitar. You can do that with a number one Phillips screwdriver located in your prestige tool. Once you have your cavity plate off, you'll be able to see the entire zero point system. It consists of your spring adjustment knob, and there's a spring attached to an indicator here, two main springs, as well as these two subsprings and a stop rod. These two subsprings and stop rod help bring the tremolo back to zero point when using such techniques as dive bombing. Another great thing about the zero point system is you don't have to keep these subsprings in your guitar. For instance, if you want it to behave a little bit more like a traditional tremolo, you can remove these substrings and stop rod so that you can get a little more of a flutter effect. In order to do that, you want to remove each spring and then pull out the rod. In order to remove these subsprings and stop rod, you just Kind of pull them off the posts and remove the entire system. 
Once you understand how to adjust your spring tension using the spring adjustment knob, you're able to balance your tremolo. You want your trem to look like this, perfectly straight and at zero point. This whole time I've been talking about balancing your tremolo, and well, what does that exactly mean? Well, like I said before, it's string tension versus your spring tension, and that's all balancing your tremolo is, it's getting it to that zero point. So if you're having a situation where your tremolo is up like this, that means you add to, need to add more spring tension. And like I said before, that's done by moving the wheel like so. Now if your tremolo is aiming downward like this, that means you have too much spring tension, and you need to let it out a little bit. So you do the same thing, only to less tension. If there's a good indicator about how much tension you have, it tells you where you are and where you need to be. And it also gives you an indicator of which way it gives you more or less tension. The last thing you want to do to make sure that you have perfect stability and perfect tuning is, your, is lock down your locking nut. Each pressure pad is adjusted with a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. You want to make sure that these are snug but not over tightened. Once those pressure pads are taken care of, you're good to go. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about the Edge Zero Tremolo.